Today is my first day of school, level two. I am so excited. So I'm on my way, well, this is my car defrost. <laughs> I'll be on my way to school. Uh, my first class is pharmacology. I got off to a little bit of a rough start this morning. I um, basically, I'm leaving out later than I normally would. I'm trying to get back in the groove. It might take a few days, but oh well. I didn't sleep that well last night. I think it was because I was excited and I kept like thinking of different stuff that may happen at school or may happen in class or whatever. So we shall see how it goes. Um, I'll try to, like I said in the last video, I'll try to um, record what I can and then I'll come back throughout the day and I'll try to post one like today, like the first day of school type of thing. And then I'll post one at the end of the week and then keep doing the weekly updates. So, see you guys soon. Man, my head hurts. It's six o'clock, just getting out of class. I am so tired. I thought I was gonna be able to come in and do some more recording throughout the day. But that didn't exactly happen the way I thought it was because like how our classes are, they're like back to back. And then uh, we did get end up getting an extended lunch today. But honestly, I just wanted to kind of chill out <laughs> because I had a headache and I was trying to like eat and stuff. And then one of my professors was posting things um, while we were on lunch. So everybody was kind of trying to get all that together and get the stuff together that she posted. So that's what I did on my lunch break. Um, and then went right back to class. Like all of our classes are like five to 10 minutes apart, except for one of them, which is 30 minutes apart, which that's our lunch time. We get the 30 minutes, but we are there from 8 AM until 6 PM. Uh, Mondays and Tuesdays and then I have a late day on Wednesday and then Thursdays clinicals which is 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. so there's that but um how school went today not bad <laughs> um I do feel like just a tiny bit overwhelmed not like super bad it's mainly because it's a lot to read I can already tell it's gonna be a lot to read a lot of the chapters our tests anyway are um are quite a few chapters like one of them i think is like set seven chapters for the first test and i think all of them are like at least seven to eight chapters per test it's like a lot of information that we're going to have to that we're going to have to know so there's that but um i think right now how I feel if I continue with my outlines and I feel if I read and like I said read to understand not just read to memorize I think I'll be okay so that's what I am going for when it comes to the semester um, it does not look like I will be able to record any of the things in the class. Now I'll find out, a, well, I know I'm not gonna be able to record if we're at the hospital, but like if we're in like Sim Lab or something, maybe I'll be able to record that. But um, we did get another one of those handouts today that said no video or audio devices of any kind are allowed in the classroom, blase, blase, blase. So none of that, sorry. I thought I was gonna be able to help you out <laughs> to be able to see some stuff, but I can't. But that's pretty much it for our first, or for my first day. Uh, for everyone else who started class today, I hope that you all had a wonderful first day. Um, even if you are feeling a bit overwhelmed, one of the things that I am telling myself right now, and I do advise you guys as well, is to just breathe, take a deep breath, and breathe it's going to be okay uh if you made it this far you can make it all the way through you have to just put in the time and the effort don't half step it don't you know just be like oh well it's a lot of information and then go out and party and half read like 
put in full effort into it and you'll be okay um that's going to be it i'm going to end this one and like i said i'm gonna to try to do another one by saturday i'm not going to say friday i'll say by saturday i'll post another one um about the whole first week to let you know what's going on because we do have our math exam this week and that math exam is basically what we have to do before we can uh give any meds so once i do my math exam and i pass that because i know i will um then i'll be able to give meds at clinicals and that's it so like comment subscribe any questions leave them below i'll do my best to answer them thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye